So this is a cupcake case and when dropped it falls in a really controlled manner, which means it's brilliant for taking data about objects which fall at their terminal velocity. Now this is a side view of that cupcake case and there's going to be a constant force acting downwards and that's due to its weight. It doesn't matter if it's moving or if it's still, it's going to have the same downwards force. Now when you first let it go, there's a downwards force which causes it to accelerate. And as it gets quicker and quicker, the value for the air resistance or drag increases. And eventually this drag force gets bigger and bigger until it's the same size as the weight but in the opposite direction. At this point we have forces which are balanced, they're in equilibrium, but we now have balanced forces on a moving object. And that's when it falls at its terminal velocity. Now we can measure that by taking one of these. We can drop it uh, from quite high up in the lab or at home. And what you can then do is you can measure the time it takes to go through a certain distance. You can use that data to work out its speed. And because these have such a small weight to a large surface area, they quickly reach their terminal velocity. So what I'm gonna do is take this outside. I'm gonna be very careful when I drop it from up high. And I'm going to drop it through a height of 1.5 meters. I'm gonna record the time and then calculate its terminal velocity. Now to work out the speed, it's going to be equal to the distance travelled divided by the time taken. And when I did this, I found the distance I measured was equal to 1.50 metres. And the time I took as 0 0.91 of a second. Now if I was to do this perhaps in the classroom, I'd maybe do it uh, several times so I could take repeat readings to find my mean value. Uh, and this is something where, again, if you're working in pairs, it's easy for somebody to drop and the other person to time. But there might also be a bit of human error with that. So that's the number I've got. Uh, so just putting the numbers into my calculator, we've got 1.5 divided by 0.91. Uh, this gives me a value on my calculator equal to 1.6484. Uh, but I'm going to give my answer to two significant figures. So I'm going to say that's equal to 1.6, and the units for this, because it's a speed or a velocity, are metres per second. So I found that with one of these cupcake cases, its terminal velocity was 1.6, and you could repeat the experiment with perhaps different surface areas, or even a different number of cup cases, so you're increasing the weight while keeping that surface area the same.